your boy Dustin Plates. How you guys doing? Tackle homies are in full effect. I probably should say something more like half of an effect. Because obviously we're back in my apartment. We're not in Mango's home studio. <clears throat> uh, the dude's been ill. And because of it, you know, he's not up for it. And I get that, you know. Um, it's not so much that he doesn't want to record. It's that the time it takes to set up to plan it, to talk about what we're going to do, to review it, to decide this is what's going on, to do the extra, the taco extras that we're doing every week. He just wasn't up for it, and I get that because, you know, just a month ago I was ill and I, and I had to shoot from here. You know, I wish he had a camera that he could shoot with um, and, and upload his own videos as well, uh, but he doesn't have that, so, you know, um, so I'm, I'm going to have some fun today. We're going to talk and we're going to have some good, we're, we're, it's going to be cool. Uh, I'm going to make it as cool as I can by myself. I'm hoping it's great. Please disregard my son out there. He's he's cute. He knew I was talking about him right there. He's adorable. He's going to be making a bunch of noise. I'm going to try to be as loud as I can be. So hopefully he's not too distracting. But if you can't help but giggle at him, let me know. Because he's, he's fucking adorable. He's going to be on later for, for a little bit. Um... I'm going to bring him in uh, so he can talk to the camera. I'm, I'm almost certain he's going to try to pick it up and do something weird with it. But I'm going to sit him down and, and, and we're going to have a little message uh, for everybody. Um, first thing I want to talk about, and I kind of hoped I could get Mango together with this. And maybe we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit more next week. Um, everybody heard about the Georgian principal, the principal from Georgia. Uh, maybe you didn't, but you're on YouTube, so look it up. The principal from Georgia that they say making racist remarks. There it goes, being cute. The principal is making racist remarks, and it's kind of like the remarks themselves, like she didn't use any slang terms or any derogatory terms. But what she did say was kind of racist, and it, I'm surprised. Like, I mean, I, I hope that there's something done. I mean, Georgia is still seen as, as a state that has issues. Uh, with racism widely and uh, you know right now with everything that just happened in Baltimore and all over the racism just has to stop especially when you're at the top you know when you're a principal and you're in charge of hundreds and hundreds of kids you know that kind of thing just has to stop because nobody's the same race anymore it's not where you have two people that might have the same skin tone and they're the same race that isn't even that doesn't even happen anymore like more likely, if there's two people in a room, one of them has a little bit different of a race than the other one somewhere down the line. So I'm kind of like, man, you know, check that video out. Um, I'm not trying to say, originally I wasn't going to say check the video out because I thought, you know, we don't need to be promoting this kind of stuff. But at the same time, if we don't watch it, it's never going to fix anything. You know, have emotions and leave me a comment and let me know what you think of it because, you know, it hurts to know that there's... You know, and I'm, I'm lucky that I, I lived in a town where, you know, I never had to deal with that from teachers or principals or people of authority. At least I haven't. Maybe other people have. Um, being a man of mixed, mixed races, I never had to deal with that from people of authority. I've dealt with that from friends and their families, but never so much like this. Fuck em. Next on the agenda. Dave Chappelle, my man, you know, he's been kind of off the radar a little bit, but he's still, to me, is one of the funniest dudes on the planet. Um, kind of, he's the reason why, to me, like, Tracy Morgan and Cat Williams and that kind of comedy makes sense today. is because Dave Chappelle really did his thing, and he did it extraordinary. Um, he came out, he talked about the Maypack fight, and if you don't know about the Maypack fight, watch last week's episode. It's been, you know, ten days since we put out an episode, I know, I know. But we're back on track now. And, uh, yeah, Dave Chappelle basically said, if you don't, if you didn't like the fight, then you're not a boxing fan. Because anybody that's a boxing fan, a fanatic who watches fights all the time, especially, you know, either Mayweather's fights or Pacquiao's fights, kind of expected it to be that way. And, you know, a lot of people are criticizing Pacquiao for his injured left arm or something. That's a whole different topic. Maybe we'll talk about that next week. But... Man, Dave Chappelle basically said, yo, if you don't like to fight, you're probably not a fan of fighting. Like, I'm going to go wherever Mayweather's fighting at because I'm a fan. And I was kind of kind of cool with that. I'm like, yo, that's what's up. I love you, Chappelle. Yo, he is exempt from the bitch ass of the monk list. He will never be on it. Unless he 
fucked up, some fucked up shit. But I'm telling you right now, he would never be on that shit. Tacos! What's going on with The Walking Dead and The Wire? I get it. Two separate shows, right? Two separate shows with the same... Yeah. Anyway, two separate shows with... Primarily, they, they had three actors who were on the same show. So, um, and I'm just going to run off names. Two of them have been into some trouble lately. But I'm talking about Chad L. Coleman and Gabriel... My bad. Chad L. Coleman and Seth Gilliam. Uh, Chad L. Coleman plays Tyrese on The Walking Dead. Uh, Tyrese recently died. He's no longer on the show. But, man, this dude flipped out on the subway... I guess there was a thing where somebody was either calling him an imposter or basically telling him that because he's, you know, an actor and he's on big TV shows like The Walking Dead and The Wire that, you know, he put himself above the lowly class, you know, us. And, um, and Coleman, you know, he flipped out on this dude and said, no, nah, man. I mean, and this dude's straight up yelling, check that video out. Because he rants on this guy for maybe a good five minutes talking about... We're the same person. I'm a human being. You're a human being. We're the same. And I mean, Chad is just giving it to him. Chad Coleman is just giving it to him. Saying, hey, you know, yeah, I was on these shows. Don't make me any better than you. We're still humans. And I'm a human humanitarian. And, yo, I mean, you know, when you watch the dude, I don't watch The Wire. Um, but I do watch The Walking Dead. And when you watch the dude, you kind of believe in your heart that, like, this actor, is, he's a classy guy. Um, just because of the way he acts and the, the characters he portrays. And, uh, yeah, he, he really truly is. Again, um, an, uh, so a whole nother actor that was on both shows, Seth Gilliam, he was on The Wire, he was on The Walking Dead, and, uh, he plays Gabriel Stokes, a.k.a. Father Gabriel, the preacher guy, whatever you want to call him. Uh, he got in trouble for three-digit speeding while drunk. Now, three-digit speeding, in order to help you understand, because I didn't understand what three-digit speeding is, it's, it's exactly what it sounds like. The dude was over 100 miles an hour. They said he was exactly 107 miles an hour. Um, with a hundred or one point oh seven blood alcohol level, so it's kind of like one point oh seven, one oh seven was the speed limit. Did it happen at one oh seven in the morning? Who knows? But uh, they say you know it's odd because you got these two actors, they're both black men from, you know, they were both on the same show. Now, you know, like I said, they, you know, Seth is kind of new to the show. You know, where where Chad L. Coleman, Tyrese, he was, you know, he was a mainstay for two or three seasons, you know, he was a great part of the show, um, talking about The Walking Dead, and, uh, you know, there, there's another actor, the guy that plays Bob, I forgot what his name is, and I didn't write it down, because I'm apparently stupid, but I did not write his name down, and, uh, yeah, the whole thing with Bob is, he's, the guy that plays Bob on The Walking Dead is also on The Wire, again, I'm sorry for people that watch The Wire, I just don't, it's not that I don't like it, or anything like that, I just haven't watched it, and I don't, I don't know what I would think of it. But he is another black actor that plays on both shows. So it's kind of like, <laughs> bad things come in threes. You, know, you never know. You never know. I don't believe in that, but some people do. Tacos! So my, some, some interesting things are going on in the WWE right now. Uh, Axel Mania and Macho Man Dow. I wanted to really get Mangos and his first thoughts on this because my whole thing is uh, first of all you know they're bringing in a new tag team two guys that have been wrestling yeah sure they sound like they could make a good tag team um i'm almost certain he, he wants to be on camera so bad right now i'm almost certain that uh mango is not gonna think it's cool he's gonna disagree with it he's gonna hate on it a little bit i love it i love it i love the fact that you got curtis axel who is Bringing back the Hulk Hogan moniker, but making it his own. You know, Axel Mania instead of Hulk Mania. And you got Damian Sandow. More recently, Damian Mizdow, for some stupid reason. Now becoming Macho Man Dow. And, uh, you know, he's going to be bringing on the Macho Man whole character. He's bringing it back and making it his own. I think it's great. I don't think Minko's going to be too crazy about it. Because, you know, and I, I know, I know we get a lot of complaints talking about... We agree too much on things, and that's part of the reason why me and Mango started the show in the first place was because, man, we'll sit there, we'll watch that, we're like, man, that's bullshit. We should start a YouTube show to talk about how much bullshit that is. And that's what we did. 
And I know a lot of people are like, you guys agree so much on too many things. And that's my number one complaint I hear is we don't argue enough. But it'll come, I promise you. Especially when, when the NFL season starts and, and my Ravens play against his Steelers. You're going to hear some shit talking, at least. And, and I'm, I was hoping that he was rooting for Mayweather because I was rooting for Pacquiao in the fight. And I wanted us to have a debate. But we were both rooting for Pacquiao. So I just hope, you know, I purposely am hoping to get into an argument with this dude. So that y'all can see it live. Or not live, but... Now, when you're watching the show, you know what I'm talking about. Stop looking at me like that. Damn. It'd be a good time to make some noise right now, baby. These people are looking at me funny. Daniel Bryan, if, you, if you've been a wrestling fan for the last decade, Daniel Bryan has been one of the best wrestlers... Top five, at least, in the last decade. I say that with confidence, and anybody that disagrees can argue with me. But to me, CM Punk is number one, the best decade, best top five wrestlers in in the last decade, and Daniel Bryan is maybe number two or three, definitely top five. Um, you know his injuries. It's kind of sad. You know what's going on with this dude. He had the world heavyweight title. Now everybody knows wrestling's choreographed. They kind of pick the winner ahead of time, but these guys work their asses off for for these opportunities to make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and to be a, an icon and to just be go be able to go into a ring, do a bunch of stunts, and have fifty thousand people root for you or boo for you. These people work their asses off for it. And this is a dude who, you know, everybody wants to be the champ, even though they know that the championship doesn't really mean anything because the WWE hand picks their champions. It doesn't really mean anything in that sense. But everybody wants to be the champion, obviously. Nobody wants to be in a professional, in a profession and not be recognized as the best. Um, this guy, you know, he got the world heavyweight title. He became injured and he had to let it go. And that was like, a year ago around this time. He came back in February. January. He was back for a Royal Rumble. Um, you know, they had his matches or whatever. WrestleMania, he gets the Intercontinental title. Awesome. Great person to have an Intercontinental title. In two months, he gets hurt again. And he's got to give it up. He has not lost a title match. A defending title match. He hasn't lost one. Both titles he had to lose due to being hurt and having to go. I'm not going to be on the show for a couple months. There's no point here. To take my title, please, because somebody has to wrestle for me. And I, you know, it may not be going down the way I just described it, but that's what's happening, and it's sad. It's truly sad. Um, any real wrestling fans, I want to hear. Uh, hear what you guys got to say. No one's leaving comments, but I want to hear what you guys got to say. Last thing I'm going to say about the pay per views. <clears throat> It's, there's going to be two in May. I feel special because it's my birthday month. Like, maybe maybe the WWE knew. And I'm not going to be able to watch them now. Because I just canceled my WWE Network. Not because it's no good, but because I couldn't afford it anymore. Yeah, the $10 a month was really getting to me. But, uh, man, you know. One of the pay-per-views is going to be only available through the, w, or through the WWE Network. So, I'm glad that they're finally doing something to make the network special. Um, because, you know, originally it was like, alright, cool. You, you can get the, the pay-per-view, but what else? You know, and I always said, Monday Night Raw, Thursday. Hold on. What's up, girl? Go for it. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, you know, hey, I'm fine with it. So, okay. All right. Okay. That's fine, you know. I mean, if you think 
if you think you can do all that work and not be exhausted all the time, then go for it. Alright. I think he only has two more weeks left. But I want to find out when they're starting that back up again. Because I'm sure they're not, you know, it seems like they'd be doing it, you know, maybe like, you know, cancel it for a couple months and then start it back up. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe we could ask in the next week or two. Maybe. Okay. All right. <laughs> Love you too. Bye. It never fails. My girl always calls me right when I'm recording. Ah, what the fuck? Um, I think it's great to the WWE Network is finally doing something to make it special, and I always thought the Raw and SmackDown should be on the network. But it isn't, and it doesn't have to be live, you know, I get it, you want TV ratings, show Raw on Monday night at 9 o'clock, and then on Tuesday night at 9 o'clock, put it on a network, 24 hours later, nobody else is watching it, if they are, they're watching it on YouTube, probably not legally, and so I'm kind of like, dude, put that stuff on the network, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, man, it kind of sucks that my girl called me that I don't like talking to her, but that's the end of the first part of the show. Um, I really am planning on having a two-part show, uh, mostly because, like I said, we're not going to be able to do the fast food review this week. So the second part is going to be kind of special. All right. I'm going to talk about the NBA playoffs. And I got a special mess. A special I got a special message. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, man. I got a special message. I got a special. I just did this again. I have a special message. That is kind of hard to say, though. I got a nice message uh, for some of our viewers. Um, two people particularly that watch the show that I really want to reach out to and, and give a special message to. I think I said it right that time. Um, so tune in. Hey, guys. Five. If you enjoyed part one. Make sure to stay tuned for part two. Oh.